Zustand is one of the best state management solutions for React, but it can be even better if you know how to use it. So listen up. And here we are in StackBlitz. I created a new React app that uses Zustand for state management. And I created an animal state, which has both bears and owls, and two increase functions that increment the population of both of them. Then I created a bears and an owls component to render a label and the number of bears and owls, and also to render a button and increment the population. I used both of them in the app component. And the reason I did this is that you don't want the bears component to update when the owls change and the other way around. This is a very common pattern in React. You only want to re-render the things that actually change. Let's open our app in a new tab and see if it works. If you open the developer console, go to the React DevTools and check highlight updates when component re-renders, you will see when the component actually updates. Now let's click on owls and wow, the bears component unexpectedly updates as well. And this is also true the other way around. Why is that? If we go back to our code, we see that it's clearly separated the only thing that's shared is that we use the same use animal state hook in both components. And here lies the issue. Even though only one of these values is updated, Sushan still signals both of the components that something changed, and thus both of them re-render. Now, how can we prevent this? The most logical solution would be to separate both of them into their own individual store. But this might not always be possible. There might be a very good reason for both of them to be interconnected and some functions might need to consume both. But there's another way. Every Zustand selector function, so for example our use animal state hook, accepts a second argument, which is a comparison function. Now, you can write your own comparison function, but most of the time the shallow comparison function that's provided by Zustand should work just fine. You can import that from Zustand slash shallow and they just can be passed as a secondary argument to your store selector. If we now click on the buttons again, you will notice that only the stuff that's actually required to change changes. And this is a massive improvement if you have big stores and heavy components. I should note that there's discussion to deprecate this feature and maybe you have to use the create with equality function method that's also exported from Zustand. In any case, imagine you want to do this for all of your stores in the entire app. Believe me, I've been through the pain, I went through hundreds of files and added this equality function. It sucks, but there's a better way. We can create our own store creation function that basically extends the default create function from Zustand with all the middleware and all the equality functions we want to use by default. I, for example, often use the subscribe with selector middleware and also use immer all the time. So to do this, create a function store this will receive the config we would normally pass to the other store, and this can be typed as a state creator. State creator being a generic interface, we have to make the function generic as well. Just type a T for now. And then from this, we return create with equality function. Maybe use this subscribe with selector, middleware, wrap immer, pass the config to the innermost function, and we can pass this the comparison function we want. Now this unfortunately will show you an error. And this is because the typing Zustand uses internally is a bit more complex and we need to specify what middlewares we actually want to use to this store creator. It's not really necessary to go into the nasty Zustand typing internals now, but basically what you do is you have the state creator and as a second argument pass the middlewares you want to use. Now if we use this as the type for our config, we see that yeah, it works. So now we have this store function and this can be used. Just replace the create call here with store. And if we go back to our buttons, we see that everything updates correctly. And now I have to admit something because yes, I did trick you into using immer. And if you want to understand what immer does and why it's beneficial to use in the combination with Zustand, I am making another video based on this one to explain to you what the benefits of immer are. So stick around and I see you next time. Cheerio.